light pollution, gradients, ugly green color cast. These are problems that you might run into while photographing the Milky Way, especially considering the Milky Way is quite often low and near the horizon. But we can fix it very easily in Photoshop with a plugin called Gradient Exterminator. Now, it is in no way a free plugin, it cost me about 50 bucks, but it is the best plugin I've ever bought for astrophotography. It works for deep sky really well as well. I use it on all my photos. So go ahead and get that. Let's jump into Photoshop and let's fix this crap. Okay, here's a Milky Way photo I took back in June. This is several images taken with a star tracker stacked with dark frames in sequitur. As you can see, there are some clouds and light pollution down here at the bottom. It was very, very hot and humid that night and it caused a green color cast. So uh, let me just exaggerate that because the first thing I usually do when I'm editing a Milky Way photo is I um, create a copy by hitting Control J, Command J on a Mac. And then I'm gonna do a curve stretch by hitting Control M or Command M. And I'm gonna just bring this up. Just wanna brighten up the Milky Way. Not too much, but that looks about right for now. Now you can really see all the bad color problems in this. It's, this looks hideous. I'm going to try to bring some of them down with levels. I'm going to hit Control L. Bring this in as close to the data as I can. And now we're going to do the individual colors. Go up here where it says Channel RGB and select red. Bring that in. Select green. Bring that in. And blue. That still didn't really help. This still looks awful. So this is when we're going to use Gradient Exterminator. I'm going to create a new layer by hitting Control, Alt, Shift, and E all together. All right, now we got a fresh new layer to work with. I'm going to select the um, lasso tool right here. And I'm just going to draw a circle around the Milky Way, just like this. Doesn't have to be too perfect. I just want to get the Milky Way and not much else. Now I'm going to go up top and click select and then inverse. So now basically everything but the Milky Way is selected. Our background is selected basically. Now I'm going to go to filter, RC Astro and gradient exterminator. I'm going to keep the settings as is medium, medium, balanced background color and hit OK. All right, now we can already see that made a huge difference. I'm going to hit Control D to deselect everything and Control L to bring up my levels. I'm just going to scoot this in a little bit. Click OK. And there we have it. This looks incredible and very natural. So let's look at the before and after. This is before and after. Now you can really see how powerful of a tool Gradient Exterminator really is. Now you can go about doing the rest of your editing, but will this work on a photo with a foreground? Well, let's just see. Here's something with a very simple foreground. As you can see, there's lots of light pollution in the distance, just on the horizon. Let's try this same technique. I'm going to draw a circle around the Milky Way here. Same process, select inverse, filter, RC Astro, gradient exterminator. I'm going to select OK. Now that made the ground kind of look like crap. I'm going to hit Control D to deselect, Control L, bringing these levels a little bit. See, that just does not look good. And there might be one way to save the photo, save your foreground at least, and you can do that by creating a layer mask. Come down here to create layer mask right here. Go over here and make sure this is set to black by clicking this button right here. Select your brush tool. Keep your um, opacity at maybe 50%. And we are, oh, you use your bracket keys to change your brush size. We're gonna paint the foreground back in. This is taking the foreground from before we did Gradient Exterminator. And that fixed the foreground right up. So this could be passable as a pretty decent image now. So I guess technically, yes, you can use Gradient Exterminator with a foreground in certain situations. Well, thank you very much for watching. For more astrophotography tips and tutorials, please subscribe to this channel. And if you like this video, well, give me a like. It really helps me out. I'm going to sign out. So as always, stay spacey, clear skies, and good night.